Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy, back with our next crazy camp, and this time we're checking out Stoner Jesus' build. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Now what he's done here, well you, you might not notice the crazy part yet, trust me you will, because what he's done is take advantage of something that I don't see very many people do, and that is to get into inaccessible structures. Yeah, the dead body right there, I kind of focused on that for a second because she was alive when I, I hit record. And by the time I looked down, she j dropped dead. I don't know what happened. But inside here, got like the coop, collectron. I mean, all, all those little valuable things are hidden inside of the garage. Which, normally you can't get in here, but through a little bit of trickery you can. And it's always kind of cool because... The walls are... It's like a one-way kind of thing. Once you're inside, you can actually walk right back out a wall. But of course, from the outside, you can't just walk in here. So, it, this is something I had, I'd actually dabbled around with a little bit way back at, like, my skyscraper build. But it, it's nice to get to see other people taking advantage of it. Because there's plenty of structures out there in the wasteland that you could pop into if you wanted to. Now back here, got a little shop set up. I, I really do love the, the little caboose. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool pre-built structure. Of course, all the shops in here. Got a little trade wall going on. Uh, I, re I really enjoy seeing the trade walls, because that was a thing before vending machines. So, pretty darn cool whenever you see them. That you never know. There's normally some pretty good stuff hidden on those trade walls. Now, eventually, we're going to work our way around to the other house. And you best believe that it is going to be every bit as awesome, if not more, more so, than the garage. So, of course, got a shelter over here. We're not going to pop into the shelter. We're mainly going to focus on what's going on right here. Also, Deathclaw, super cool. I love seeing people having pets. I don't know if, uh, if the fire marshal is going to approve having a campfire on your front porch. But, I mean, it's the apocalypse, so what, what's he going to do about it? But now that we're inside here, I mean, I like the, the use of putting walls up in here. And then when you go to move around, Fallout does fallout things and stuff just magically vanishes but if it wasn't for the whole magical vanishing act that you know fallout causes i mean this would be pretty pretty freaking legit you go inside the house and then there's actually a house built inside of it i'm not fully sure why it's making things pop out of existence temporarily i don't know if that's just a newer issue uh, with the game, because I don't remember that happening way back when I built inside structures. But yeah, I had way too much fun up here fiddling around with the ally. And we're going to come back to that in a second. But up here, got a bedroom, bunch of stuff on display. Really excited about the fact that we can now display things without it taking away camp budget. That is a game changer. But yeah... I discovered that if I could find, like, the perfect spot, weird stuff would happen with the ally. Like that. Oh my gosh, it's like an outfit is alive and walking through the wasteland. And you get it just right, that her head would disappear, or, his, or her hair, or... I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's too ridiculously funny to play with. I, I just, this camp had to make it, alright? It had to, because this is just too darn cool. I don't think if you could top, at least ally-wise, crazier than this. This is as crazy as it could possibly get with an ally. I just, I don't know. I love it. I, I got a really, really good laugh out of just hanging out out there. I was probably fiddling around with that for about five minutes, just enjoying every last bit of that. 
But the camp itself, I love it. I love the idea of taking advantage of some of the pre-built structures that you can't get into. It does kind of suck that the game makes things magically disappear, but that's not the builder's fault. Although, I will say the trade-off making the ally disappear, worth it. That's going to wrap up the tour of his camp. Huge thank you to Stoner Jesus for letting me share this with all of you. If you've got a crazy camp that you want to share, hop down in the comments, let me know. Give me your gamer tag, brief description. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, sub, and share. Later.